What's going on guys? It's your boy Hafri Speaks. So Patrick, you're getting in today with Stevie Ray Vaughan, the SRV man. Well, comment was given to me by Peter, the SRV man, okay? He goes, check out Little Wing. Live at the, what's this place called? Al Mukambo, okay? This is where this uh, performance was done, okay? So this is this is the first time reaction. This is the first time listening to this particular performance and this particular song, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. And before I jump in with this reaction, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Give this video a like, give it a share, okay? Cause we're gonna get it in today with Stevie Ray Vaughan. Vaughan, Vaughan, it's my pronunciation, okay? Little Wing, live at the El Mukambo. Okay, I believe this was in 1983, okay? So let's just jump in right in with this, okay? And uh, thank you very much for the recommendation. Yeah, man, the the way the drums came in there and then he just waited, cued it right in. Filthy animal, that's a compliment. It means, oh man, it's so, it's not aggressive. He's just, oh, what I'm looking for, your word. It, he's just so, if the song was, if I could, it's X, triple X rated. <laughs> the way he just started there, okay? That's I'll we'll leave it as that. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm, uh, as I'm progressing through the SRV archive, it's out, that's one guitar, and uh, you know, maybe he's, but he's making it sound like there's multiple big guitars. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you know, don't, don't get at me saying, well, that's how a guitar is supposed to sound like. Have you never heard a guitar before? No, I haven't, except for in Queen, but another sort of bands but yeah i'm i'm not i'm not i'm not here saying i'm I, I know about guitars okay so but the way he's playing this but well, i can't make this observation for sure i'm from the sound the way he's playing it it's as almost as if 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 i didn't if i wasn't watching this i would say oh somebody else is playing that guitar somebody else is playing that guitar because he's somehow manipulating is that the right word perhaps the sound of that guitar to make it sound different in multiple ways. Does that make sense? Because I was hearing different things there. It could just be his normal thing. I don't know. All right. But if it's that obvious, you got to remember, this is a first time listen, first time reaction. Okay. But to me, that's something that just stood out there because I was catching multiple sort of sounds from the same guitar. Because I was going to ask you, is there somebody else playing behind him?
is somebody playing there. Well, that could be the bass, you know. Yeah, I, d I noticed the thing he did with his hand, playing with one hand at the top, with that thing he does. I did notice that, uh, but I didn't want to stop the flow. But I have now, so I've contradicted myself there, but never mind. Uh, I'm referring to this point here. This bit here. where he just, I love that. That must be his, like his signature move, right? I mean, I've, I've never seen other guitarists do it. Well, I don't even know other guitarists that well, but I've, um, he's doing it quite well. He just lets go, and he just carries on playing it. Anyway. Right here, yo. Okay, apologies for pausing it. The, the, the rhythm of the beat is picking up, right? The drums are picking up pace here as well, right? You know what I'm saying? And he's picking up pace too. Whoa, there's no singing in this song either. <laughs> what was the last reaction I did? Tin Pan Alley. Tin Pan Alley. He was with Johnny Copeland, I believe. There were a bit of singing in there and stuff, but this one's complete. There's a, just instruments. There's no singing, right? Yeah, but anyway, I, I, I like the way he's picking up pace now with the beats and that, because it was a gradual build-up. And then there's a transition. And now we're going into a co complete beat change. You know what I'm talking about? We'll see where he's going with this. I don't know where he's going with it. <laughs>
just slapped the guitar one time. <laughs> he just gave it one slap. <laughs> Behave yourself. <laughs> that might be a guitar move, but to me that was pretty awesome because I just slapped it. You know what I'm saying? Where's he going with that slap, man? I love that. Okay, okay, uh, obviously it was a bit of confusion for me because he just went back and adjusted his own freaking sound equipment. You know what I'm saying? These days, I'm sure like performances, they have people that do that for you. For the This guy's, you know what I mean, just went back. <laughs> I'm going to adjust my own, he's his own, he's his own sound engineer. You know what I'm talking about? He's his own freaking stage production manager as well. I'll sort it out myself. I'll go to the back and adjust that shit myself. I thought the song was over, but he's going in for the finale. That's what it looks like to me. The new music will return with more from Stevie Ray Vaughan on City TV and Chum FM. Uh, apologies for that. Didn't expect that to pop up at the end. <laughs> I guess I need to sort of vet the videos before I do a first time reaction, first time uh, listen. Wowzers, incredible, incredible things, bro. Incredible, man. What the hell is going on with his guitar skills, yo? Seriously, man. Yo, behave yourself. Ding, slaps the guitar, goes back, sorts his own freaking sound stuff out. Just. Just for you guys, for the audience, you know what I'm talking about? He wanted to make sure he ended up on a freaking, literally a high note. Well, sound high, but like his guitar, oh, man, freaking hell. I'm gonna go back and replay that bit. He just, what's the look? Distorted that freaking whole. Sp you would think, and I was, I, I hoped it, I hoped it would have happened. As he was doing that, the speaker to explode. In a good way, because the sound was that. You see Back to the Future when the guy sort of does that uh, McFly He's, He does that and he goes flying across the room Because the speaker's that big And the whole speaker explodes That's what should have happened here so As he was playing The freaking speaker should have Not like causing damage to anyone But just because the sound was that intense Because you can see that in his performance and his face The last bit there The intensity The intensity he had right there Ooh Oh, you can feel that. You can feel that. I love that. I love that about a performance, especially with someone, especially with artists. The world is big. There's many, many artists, all right? But especially when the artist comes through and has that passion and mm, you can just feel it. You know what I'm talking about? Especially at the end there, man. That's what I love. I love what he's doing, man. Or did. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, guys, I'm out. Thank you so much for the recommendation. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.